Genesis 18. Let's go there from the beginning. From 11 to 19. You know, this is the story. I'm going to teach you what you know. It says, now Abraham and Sarah were old, well, advanced in years. She was past the age of childbearing. So Sarah laughed to herself when she heard the Lord's words, saying, after I have become old, shall I have pleasure and delight? My Lord, being also old, and the Lord asked Abraham, why did Sarah laugh? Can you see the verse? Shall I really give birth to a child when I'm old? I'm so old. Is anything too difficult or too wonderful for the Lord? At the appointed time, when the Lord sees it, for a delivery comes, I will return to you and Sarah will have a son. Then Sarah denied it, saying, I did not laugh because she was afraid. And he, the Lord, said, No, but you did laugh. Look at verse 16. Then the men got up from there and looked towards Sodom, and Abraham walked with them to send them on the way. And the Lord said, Shall I keep secret from Abraham? Can you see the verse? My friend and servant, what I'm going to do since Abraham is destined to become a great and mighty nation, and all the nations of the earth will be blessed through him. Can you see the verse there? For I have known him so that he may teach and command his children and his household after him to keep the way of the Lord by doing what is righteous and just so that the Lord may bring upon Abraham for what he has promised. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for your word in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right. I want us to read this verse, which is very, very important. And it's especially verse 70. It says, let's start from 6. Then the man got up from there and looked towards Sodom and Abraham walked with them to send them on the way. And the Lord said, Shall I keep secret from Abraham? I'm sure you're seeing that. Okay, let's talk about what happened that day. In fact, I want you to be free to listen to this. The Bible shows that um, Abraham was already old. And Sarah also was already old. And then by their time of nature, it was already gone. Already we know all of them, they wanted children. But there is something significant if we can look on what we have read here. The Bible says there was a promise that was given. This promise, you know, she laughed with a certain reason. I will tell you why she laughed. The reason was because it was not the first time she was told that she will have a child. Listen to this. If you grow up to 30, people will come and ask you, what is happening? Your time is coming. You grow up to 40, people will say, don't worry. Like prophets like us, will just say, God is bringing a child when you are 40. But when you are 50, your enemies began to mock you. So already Sarah might have received many promises, many encouragements, many, many ways that makes her to laugh at that time. But she was afraid when she heard the angel say, why this person does not believe? Why she laugh? Okay, automatically she ended up believing all right, after she believed, look what happened now. The Bible says, Abraham walked with them and accompanied them. Listen to this. Our challenge today is not the promise we have been given. It 
can happen, sometimes not. But there's something which is above the promise is when you walk with the Lord. If you read there, you find that the Bible says, he walked with them. And that's where the Lord said. Walking with the Lord shows relationship. Shows what? Relationship. If you can read there, you realize that for us to hear from God, our relationship is needed. So we'll talk about relationship. We'll talk about what? Look here, the promise that was given was not showing relationship. It was like a person just appearing and say, you will have a child. But when Abraham moved with them, this guy began to say, no, 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 Abraham cannot work with us, even if he's accompanying us to the place there. All right, let's reveal to him the plan we have. That is the mistake where we are challenged. No revelation, no hearing from God. We don't know where we are going. So, what we need now is the relationship with our Lord Jesus Christ. A Christian or a pastor who will hear from God must be a Christian like his members. He must be a Christian like his members. Do you know that what is happening today? We are no longer Christians. We are, we are not with what members are feeling in the church. Members, they worship. Members, they pray. We come to preach. And sometimes because we don't have time, we end up just getting messages on the internet and we preach them. So our relationship will produce that sense of hearing. Our relationship with Jesus, we are lacking that. I don't know if you are hearing that. Tessa will say, how far is your relationship with Jesus? Because that's where the Lord talk. Look here. Listen to this. God wants pastors, apostles, prophets, all those people of fivefold ministry to communicate with them, to speak with. In fact, God doesn't want your money. He doesn't want your business, your achievements. He wants to talk with you. So, our relationship will produce the voice of God and we will hear it clear. This has been happening from the beginning, as you can see. They say, okay, we gave this man a promise. He's going to be a father of nation. But now, we are left with only one year. Let's tell him that from now to one year to come, he'll be, he'll be having a son. Ah, the wife said, no, I'm hearing that all the time. But this one said, I believe these people. Let me work with them. Let's get out of the things of turning around, searching for prophecies about our gifts. We start to work with the Lord now. Let's, let's work with the Lord. Because now, you, you, don't know, you don't know what you are supposed to be. And it's the Lord God who decides. You are going to somebody who was born a prophet. And you think the prophecy will come to you so that you become a prophet. That person must tell you, I'm born to be a prophet. I can't do anything to you. He must teach you how to work with the Lord so that the Lord will speak. I don't know if you're hearing me. We, we, are, we are doomed because we can't hear God. Our relationship has been affected. I don't know if you're hearing that. So, the Lord is interested in revealing secrets to us. The plan you want to do, you're not supposed to search for it. You must hear it. If God is not speaking anything, strengthen your relationship. If you read Amos 3 verse 7, it talks about, it said, the Lord does nothing without revealing to what? What? His secrets. He does nothing. In other words, the Lord wants to communicate with us here so that we must not be surprised of what he's going to do. 
I mean, it's unfortunate to find that we just wake up, we found this has happened, but we don't know why it has happened. And we are servants of the Lord. So this is challenging our relationships. If you are hearing that, say amen. amen. If you read John 15, verse 14 to 15, that's where Jesus says, you are my friend if you keep doing what I command you. Because the servant does not know what the master is doing, but a friend knows. Can you see that? So, you are my friend if you do what I command. How can you do the command? It means somebody has spoken, another one heard it, and he does what he heard. And Jesus says, you are my friends. It means we are related. There's somewhere where we have a common goal, where we think together, where we plan together, where we work together. You are my friend. Automatically, you know, in relationship, there are things like, number one, communication. Automatically, it's prayer. I'm sure you understand that. In French, what? Communication. Two, trust. If you look on friendship, trust, it means convenience. When God say, okay, I'm going to do this, and I want you to do this, you trust him that what you are doing, you are not losing. You end up doing. I'm sure you understand that. Okay, three, love. When Jesus spoke with Peter and said, Peter, do you love me more than this? Okay, now you can carry on my assignments. I'm giving you assignments, so I love you. You do it because you love. You don't do it because you want something. I don't know if you are hearing me. Listen to this. Many of us who are here, we have been challenged on our love walk. I want to tell you why I'm saying that. Because God sometimes allows things to happen to us, not to condemn us. He allows those things to happen to us so that we prove that love. I don't know if you're hearing that. Ask someone, are you hearing that? Number four, agreements. Agreements, it means where you come together and you agree, like Abraham who said, you know, if now how many people can be saved and follow you, are you still going to destroy Sodom? I go say, no, 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 I can't do it. If now, you are, I mean, you are praying like this, let's agree, we cannot do that. I don't know. The Bible says you cannot walk together unless you do what? You agree. In other words, agreements means working together, what we were talking about. So these are things that makes relationships strong. Number one, communication, two, trust, agreements, and love. And when you have those things, and when they are strong, you can begin to hear God as God. Sometimes we worship God as his far, but we need to hear him, that he is so close to us. As he said, he will never leave us or forsake us. I don't know if you are hearing that. So here he said, you are my friend, if you do what? My commandments, in other words, we need to hear him. There are some things, listen, which are not written in the Bible that the Lord wants us to do. Uh, those are commandments. Those are commandments. It says, good as I say, get out from the house. So, if you search it in the Bible, you won't find get out. I'm sure you understand that. So now, our relationship with God establishes our hearing. And it makes us to respond in a best way. Our relationship with God establishes what? Our hearing. And that makes us to hear God in a best way. You know, there are many, many challenges by the time of early we saw something like that. Where the Bible talks about, uh, I mean, Hophni and Phineas who were not listening to God but looking on the offerings. And the Bible says, you find that God, the word of God by that time was scarce. Revelation was not happening all the time. And God wanted to talk. And people were busy with the offering. It's what is happening to our church today. If now, the Bible, the way it was said, it was said, Ophni and Phineas neglected the offering of God and treated it in an unrespectable way. And that's where God left them. God could not speak with them again. God even left early. 
And the Bible says God desired to kill them. Think about it. You have got opportunity to work in the house of God and God is desiring to kill you. You are doing what you are doing. Everybody is praising you and you are fed. Automatically they were fed those guys because they were eating meat and sometimes they say let's remove the fat. They say no, 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 don't remove the fat. They were eating meat and they become more fat and they died being fat and God was happy about that. This is the time now that we must hear God's voice. Otherwise, these people will fall and will fall with them. I don't know if you are hearing me. Ask what I say, my friend. When was the last time you hear the voice of God? What is he saying? Please, pastors, in Acts chapter 10, you could see from verse 1, it's a shameful story that we always read, where we find Cornelius uh, who was just loving the people of Israel and praying all the time. Because it's when you do things all the time, working with the Lord all the time, that revive your hearing or open heavens. When, when you are coming here, when you are giving all the time, praying all the time, worshiping all the time, this revive you. You are not doing it because you want something, but you are doing it because you know you have a relationship with the one who say do it. I'm sure you hear what I'm trying to say. Look what happened to Cornelius, which has never happened to many of us, where the angel can just appear. Many of us, when the angel can appear here, we'll run away or faint. It has not happened to the church of today. In the, in the beginning, our church of the ex, angels were just coming. Sometimes waking up Peter, come, they go through the door that was locked. Where are those miracles? Sin is abounding in the church and we can hear God. Christianity is something like, I want to do that one, what that one is doing. I, I want to copy that one, I want to be like that one. That's what we are doing now. If you look at our church today, it seems as if we are there just to fight one another because we are empty. When we see something, somebody who's full, we must destroy that one. Because otherwise, I will lose members. The issue now of your pastoring is members now. If members are going, it means there's something wrong. You don't even go to the one you have a relationship with. Because if you go to him, he will tell you, I'm taking them because they're not worthy of you. Where you are going is not where you are, they are going. They, can't, they are not needed there. Our challenge today is relationship. We can't hear God. Because our relationship when it's strong, we hear God clear. Look what happened to Peter. Look the message that was given to Cornelius. That message was very, very touching. Go to a place like this, very close to the sea. It was clear where Peter was. There's Simon the Tenor there. But there's also Simon Peter. Sometimes we don't even have direction. We can't hear what God is saying. We don't know what to do. Do you know that it's so bad that we become pastors who can't even hear anything? So bad. We can't even know what to do today. Look at our relationships with him. You will find that we are already affected. When challenges come, we look at the challenge. Our direction of prayer is towards the challenge. It's not an issue of the relationship with him. When problems come, when we are sick, now our focus is on sickness, not the issue of relationship with him. Can you just look at the relationship that goes up and down? You realize why God is quiet. Because God wants a reliable person. He want what? Reliable person. Tell somebody, my friend, when was the last time you hear God? Let me take you when, when Saul was arrested. Look the message that Ananias got. The message that Ananias got. Ananias, go to the street called Street. 
In other words, there's another street called not straight. But t- take this one, you will find that man pray. And this man was praying, he was busy praying. When in Jerusalem, all the apostles were not praying. And God said, whom can I use to save this one? I have to use someone who's praying, who cannot be stopped even if he hears stories. Ananias was praying. And the Bible says, Ananias was called. Ananias, there's a man that I've organized. Can you just go and lay hands on him? He'll be filled with the Holy Spirit. I'm talking about the real Holy Spirit where Jesus speaks. Not the Holy Spirit that we decide. I'm sure you're hearing me. Ananias was still finding a way of dodging the, to hear from God. He said, no, no, no. I can't go to that man because that man is very dangerous. I heard about it. God said, no, yes. That's why many of, of them are hiding. That's why many of them I can't use. But because you are praying, you are an instrument that I can send. So I'm sending you there. This is the time now that even when you hear stories about what is happening around, they don't affect what you are doing with him because your relationship is so important, you carry on until God speaks something with you. And from there you will reach the unreachable and reach a places where other people cannot reach. Our challenges is, I want to be a pastor like you. You are a pastor like that one. And many challenges that people they don't even know is the moment you acquire materials, the moment you become famous without hearing God, all those things becomes a problem to you. Hearing God for you need a relationship with him. There are some things we won't even pray if we hear God. The reason why we are just wasting prayer, prayer, prayer time, fasting is because we can't hear God. If I hear God say, okay, you see, two months from now I'll do this. Can I pray about that? No. So the reason why we are praying for this, we can't even hear what God is saying about that. Sometimes before you pray, ask yourself, what is that God is saying about it? If God is not saying anything, deal with your relationship before you pray about it. So the mistake is we are praying about something, we want that thing, and also we are not even careful that when that thing comes here, it can bring death. You can still ask for a car that will make you crippled. So we need to hear him speaking from now. We need to hear God speaking. We're not different with the apostles. We're not different with the prophets. We are called on the same line, but the same God of yesterday, today, and forever. Why our call is so different? Our relationship is being shaken. Our relationship is no good. And these are the last days. Jesus is coming back. We need to stand up. The reason why we have a meeting like this is because of that. Because Jesus is coming back, we must reach all over the world by gospel. So God will use you. I say God will use you. I can't hear you. I say God will use you. Ask your neighbor, did you hear God speaking with you this morning? Can I show you something that will bother you a lot? Let's read Acts 16. I know you know this. Acts what? Let's read Acts 16. Let's start from verse 6. Are you there? It says, Now, they passed through the territory of Persia and Galatia after being forbidden by the Holy Spirit to speak the word. Can you see that? Eh? In the west coast province of what? Of Asia Minor. After they came to Mesia, they tried to go to Bithynia, but the Spirit of Jesus did not permit them. So, passing by Mesia, they went down to Troas. Then a vision appeared to Paul in the night. A man from where? Macedonia was standing and pleading with him, saying, come over to Macedonia 
and help us. And when he had seen the vision, we try to go into Macedonia at once, concluding that God has called us to preach the gospel to them. If you read there, this is a challenge to all of us. They try to go this way, place. Holy Spirit say, no. Don't go there. They try to go somewhere to preach the gospel. Holy Spirit say, we can't permit you there. They, they had all sense of hearing God. To extend that when they hear that they're not supposed to preach there, they don't look at the city. These were wonderful cities, but they could not, I mean, stand with that. The question is, it's obvious. Were you told to be there by the Holy Spirit? You know, Jesus spoke a profound statement. He said, you know, my sheep hear my voice. That's why that scripture is very, very dangerous. He said, they follow me and I know them. You know that scripture? It says, they follow me and I know them. Here, yeah, it's a scripture that is challenging us. Who told you to have a ministry there? These guys, they say, we try to go the Holy Spirit say no. They try to, we might be in a place where God didn't send us. And now we are facing difficulties, but we say, God, why? And whereas the Holy Spirit didn't want you to go there. There are some places, though the Bible says, we'll preach the gospel everywhere. But does it mean that you have to go everywhere? Because you might be going where somebody is there. God can contravene himself, contradict himself. I wanted to say that. Are you hearing that? You might be going, you know, let me try to tell you. The moment I found that you are there, you know what I do? I take pleasure on praying for you because you are there. I can't say when your church is there, I'm coming to make crusade here. What kind of the spirit is that? Because if you read here, you realize that God is God of order. He said, no, don't go there, come this side. Now we are making our God like, a, you know, a very stupid God. We just go wherever. These people were people who follow the visions they have. The moment they see a vision, says, ah, it means God wants us to be there. I'm sure you're hearing that verse now. When was the last time when you want to do crusade, Holy Spirit, don't go there. Even if you have got all necessary requirements to go there. Even if you have got all tools that can make your crusade to be powerful. If you can see now, our crusades are based on how much can I make. It's no issue of winning the soul now. It's of building empire. I'm sure you understand what I'm trying to say. Ask your neighbor, say, my friend. When did you find that you wanted to go somewhere and Holy Spirit denied you? Can you see now we are not hearing God? Huh? We just say, okay, there's another place. I want to, I want to go another place. Oh, and, and, okay, I want to have three churches now. You have got three churches. They don't even have a pastor. If you read Acts 13 verse 1, it was the Holy Spirit again who say, choose for me these ones. Ordination there was done by the Holy Spirit. Choose for me these ones. I'm going to use them. It was not issue of, okay, let's take you for Bible school. Now we can send you out. Okay, we'll have a day of ordaining you. This was the issue of the Holy Spirit. Choose for me this. Because once God is involved, he gives you necessary requirements to go and work on that place. There's no way that he won't make a change there. The reason why we have got a ministry, no change, nothing is happening, we are fighting each other, is because of God never say anything. There's, there's too much manipulation now in the body of Jesus Christ now. There's too much now. Because you are here now, 
to receive anointing here. Holy Spirit never say anything. And you are forcing yourself to come here. When you come here, when you're not getting anointing, what do you do? You're still going to get another impartation. So, now people are going up and down. Now, there's prophecies that are not coming to pass now. No issue of led by the Holy Spirit. We are in the dark. We can't see where we are going. Sometimes we just presume or end up thinking that we are hearing God. Well, this is not God, it's ourselves. And now, in the last days, what are we going to say? Look what Jesus said. In the last days, people will say, we prophesy in your name. We cast demons. He say, I don't know you. Because the issue is relationship. It's no issue of casting demons. It's no issue of prophesying. It's relationship. Amen. If our relationship is strong, what we will do, it will be his will. But if we just do because we are doing it, we are wasting time. God can take over. You find that when I'm talking here, it's no longer me talking about the Holy Spirit. And this must bring sense to our hearing. If you read this verse here, you realize that we were supposed to be knowing if we are here or not. We are supposed to be knowing if our church is supposed to be there or not. So this is the time now of getting our pastorship, our position, by making relationship with what? With God. Let's get out of this issue. You know, I'm a man of God, I'm a man of God, I'm a man of God, I'm a man of God. You know, man of God, or God of men. It's very dangerous for us. It will bring pride. I don't know if you're hearing me. It will bring what? Pride. It will bring many, many things. We find that we are kicking people away. And for us to help those people where we are called, God is no longer talking also. Because we have got proud, we are proud heart. We can't reach there. Ask somebody to say, my friend. How is your relationship with Jesus? Say, tell me. How is your relationship with Jesus? Ask me, I will tell you why I pray for everybody. It's my relationship with Jesus. Why? I know that if I pray for you, if those people there, are you hearing me? They are my enemy. You have joined together to fight them. This is the time now of not fighting each other. It's the time of looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. This is the time now that we must hear God when he speaks. It's painful. It's really painful. It's so painful times like this. Can you see when you want to preach the gospel? You don't know what to preach. It's so painful. You know, can I tell you about this? Let me show you something. Well, there's this brother here, for example. This one, come. The brother from America. This brother here from America. This man, just stand there and say, this man, he once came here. I pray for him. I say, can you see your folly? You understand? Say, see, can you see your folly? I say, you have never fallen. If you remember, you remember, sir? I remember. Eh? Yes. So, the moment this brother sent me an email and say, if I can show you the email, he said, I know the grace you carry. I'm coming to that meeting. I know what will happen. The moment he says something, you know, he says something like this, I knew that God has lifted this man in America. Hallelujah. I just know. And the moment I knew about it, I heard Holy Spirit that somebody prophesied him, but nothing happened. Yes. And uh, he was so troubled, this man. Yeah. Is it true? It's true. Huh? True. You went to Zimbabwe. Yes. Eh? Yes. So you can hear that. This man went to Zimbabwe for mm. prophecy, for impartation, mm. and he had many, many things. Mm. But he was so troubled, this man. Mm. It's true. 
He was so troubled because what he has been prophesied never came to pass. Is it true, sir? It's true. Eh? True. But this is a prophet. Because the prophet said, you, you are anointed. You are anointed. You are, is it true? What true. I'm saying? It's eh? true. Yeah. So now, can you see now? In fact, uh, you know, the way you were prophesied, according to me, I like it. Hmm. I'm sure you're hearing that. According to me, I like that. Yeah. Can you see what I'm talking about? Yeah. This is the man. that, Because when he came to me, I never spoke with him anything. What I wanted to do was to do what? Just to bah! with a clap. And he fall down. And I said, can you see? You've never fall, But today you're falling. All right. He was not satisfied. He went to Zimbabwe and met a tall prophet. He's a tall. He met a tall man. Yes. A thin man. And the, here you met a short man. <laughs> you go to it. So now you'll go, you'll find a fat man. You go, can you see now? You, you'll find that you know all the prophets, but you're empty. Yes. Is it not painful? I'm sure you've never spoke anything about I'm seeing you today. Yes. Yes. Did you tell somebody? Did you tell that one? No, I didn't. That prophecy, my brother, will come to pass. That man is a prophet. Amen. Amen. So. That is why you came here. Yes. The reason why you came here is for the prophecy now to come to pass. Yes. Yes. So um, I want to tell him that, I want to encourage him that it's not issue of the prophecy mm. that it was given that it's not coming to pass. Mm. It was issue of the timing. Mm. If he knew that the prophet was speaking the truth, he wouldn't worry, he just say, God, God has spoken, God has spoken, God has spoken, I heard him, God has spoken, he's doing it. Because the prophet was saying, you are anointed very much. Is it yes. true? It's true. Eh? It's true. You remember what the prophet did on you? Can I tell you? Go ahead. Eh? Yes. You want me to prophesy now? <laughs> prophesy to me. I'm not a prophet. The prophet told you about your career. You remember? Yes. And he said you left career, you were a doctor. Is it true? He said you're a physician. Yeah, he said my father is a physician. Your father is a physician. Yes. And from there he said... He even kneeled down. Yes, yes. When he was professor, he kneeled down. Yes, he kneeled down, yes. Eh? Yes. And he was kneeling down. You were holding your face. He also kneeled down. He said, this man is very much anointed. Is it true? It's true. All right. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. I'm, uh, don't clap. Uh, I'm not prophesying. I'm <laughs> telling him. I'm not a prophet. That's exactly what happened. Yeah. Is it exactly? Exactly, yeah. What happened? Yes. He even told you about your son. Yes. And he, you, you told him that, oh, yeah, prophet, there's a son of mine who's used by God. And, 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 and. <laughs> is it true, sir? It is true. Eh? It's true. Yeah. Because you even say, yes, he's preaching now. Yes. Is it true? I said it, yeah. You said what? I said it. I said that he's preaching now. Yeah. yeah. So, so you want me to go on? I'm trying to tell you that what he was telling you yeah. will come to pass here. Amen. 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 <laughs> Hallelujah. Mm. Mm. My concern was if we take what God is speaking mm. to us, we hear him, we believe that prophets are not liars. Hmm. Because that man spelled your name Amen. that day. Amen. Is it true? It's true. We were spelling Bernard. Yes, Bernard. And yes. he said he saw you before you come. Yes. That he exactly, told you. Exactly what happened, yes. Huh? That exactly what and happened. And he asked some people in the church. Yes. Yes. So I'm telling you now. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So I want to pray with you 
today because of that. Amen. Amen. If you came here, you were searching for the partition you were searching there. Hmm. You were supposed to have gotten it. Hallelujah. So now you will prophesy so that you come and receive it. Hallelujah. Now wait for me. Thank you, God. Is it all that he said, what I told you? Uh, all you said is 100% true. But did you tell me that he said... No, I didn't. I've never told you You say this. you are coming. Yes. You say you are coming. Yeah. You can see that. Our challenge today is we don't know the timing of God. Is it true? Because of relationship. You know relationship does like this. I will tell you. If this man is my son, if I'm promising him something, I will tell him the time. Is it true? If I say, my son, I'll buy you a suit, I won't end there. I'll say month end. But if our relationship is on and off, and we just bump to each other, I'll say, I know you don't have a suit. I'll buy you. The question is when? All the time we'll have that kind of question. When? But now, when the relationship is stronger, if I say I'll buy you a suit, I'll say, you know what? My budget is accepting that month end. Because I know what I'm telling you, you won't tell somebody. We are one together. But if now our relationship is no stronger, I don't trust you, you don't trust me. I'll just say I'll buy you a suit because you want it. To lift up your hope so that you lend the trust to me. When now you lend the trust, you believe that I can do it. I'll tell you now, I'm bringing it. Sometimes I'll bring it when you're not expecting it. Relationships makes you to know things before they happen. You're not even surprised when those things are happening. I'm sure you understand that. So this is the time now when you are here that when God say, I'm anointing you, you hear the hand of God. Are you ready to hear God? Yes. How many of you are ready to hear God? You are ready to hear God? Yes. If you hear God, your problem will hear from you. Yes. Tell me if you hear God, yes. your problems will hear from you. Can you all stand? Can you all stand? Let's sharpen our hearing in your relationship with him where you think you went out ask him ask him so that God will restore you prayer, prayer, prayer in your relationship, prayer ask him Ask him. La basi televende ke tele se tele bayende. Lo brese televende ke tele se tele bayanda. Kele yende le si katala yanda la banda ke tele zito. La banda ke se televende ke zito la banda koshuto. Ask him. There is somewhere, somewhere, I didn't go right. Oh, Jesus. Ask him. Father, like a secret elevation, like a secret elevation, La Bala Cassit elevated, Cassit elevated, Cassit Alavanda. Call a yen elevated, Cassit Alavanda Cassata. Lo Bracatala Vanda Cassicet elevated, Cassit. Evade a cassette elevated, Cassit Alavanda Cassat. La Banda Cassit elevated, Cassit Alavanda Cassata. Ask him. Ripa Sita Ravanda Catara Vadana Cassit. Oh, la ba 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 shita la ba da katata, la ba 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 siketele be 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 siketala, la ba 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 shiketele be leke siketele yed, 
la baba bashike telebele belebe zitelekedi la broke telebe zikata la yanda o yende lebende gezata lebende gashata ri baba 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 ba Father, we know where we went wrong. Father, we are here today. Our situation must change. Our love work must change. In Jesus' mighty name. Please, I want you to take this with caution you know how many things happen to you as a servant of God it must happen to you there, there have to be challenges problems, rejection I mean lack and whatever those things must happen but listen to this you must never go on those things today allow God to make you a voice allow God to make you a voice can you lift your hand and say, God, make me a voice to my nation. Make me a voice to my people. Make me a voice. Make me a voice. Make me a voice, Lord. Make me a voice. Father, Loko Tolo Wonde. Make me a voice. Make me a voice, Father. Can you pray louder than that? Pray louder than that. Pray louder with all your voices. Make me a voice. Make me a voice. Make me a voice! Make me a voice! Make me a voice! Le brosri, le tre pratatata, le kete, le brokete la yata, le kete, le kete, se tre kete, le brakata. Make me a voice of my nation. Make me a voice. Make me a voice. Yala baba batatatata. Le kete, le breketa, la sata. Oh Jesus, make me a voice. 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 La brakata la ya tatata. La kata la ya katiki sikita. Zo brokote. La brakasikiti. Make me a voice. Make me a voice. I can see my past is gone. I can see my failure is gone. I can see my mistakes are gone. My shame are gone. But this time, I'm here to be a voice. I'm here to hear you. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Make me a voice to change my nation. Yes, yes. Carry on. Carry on, carry on. Speak, pray louder, pray louder, pray louder. Lord, make me a voice. Make me a voice. Of my nation, of my country, of my people. Make me a voice. Make me a voice. Oh, oh Jesus, oh Jesus, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Listen, listen, listen. God is starting to bring that anointing you are crying for. Listen, 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 there's anointing here now that is descending here. It's here now, it's here. It's here now. It's here. It's here. Karakata ta 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 ta. Le bro pa 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 ta 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 ta. Oh Father, make me a voice. Can you pray again with all your power? Make me a voice. Anoint me. Anoint me. Anoint me. Anoint me. Anoint me. Anoint me. Make me a voice. Hey, pray with all your power. 
Make me a voice of my nation. Make me a voice of my country. Hey! With all your power. With all your power. La pro 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 pro. Zita la bande ketele yendo. La pro ketele yende sita wayande. La ketele yende se tele vende. La pro no kosete le vende kayana. Make me a fight. Kay. Hey, hey, make me a fight. Louder, louder. Louder. God is awaiting you. Louder. With all your power. Oh, oh my father, we are here today. We are here today. We are here today. You know what we are going through. Father, make me a voice of my country, of my country, of my country. Oh. Father, my people are perishing. They are perishing. Oh, I'm perishing with them. Make me a voice. Make me a voice, Lord. Make me an instrument. Use me. Use me. Use me. Use me. For your purple. For your purple. For your purple. In Jesus' name. Listen, this meeting, this meeting is a meeting of the Holy Ghost. When the Holy Ghost came for the second time, the place where they were, it was shaken. Even the air was, it was supposed to shake. Let me hear you scream, cry to God. Let me hear you say, make me a voice. Make me a voice. Make me a voice. Oh! Holy Ghost! Holy Ghost! Holy Ghost! Carry on, carry on. 
One minute with all your power. One minute long with all your power. With all your power. The power is descending. Anointing is descending. Father, remember us, Lord. We are here. Shout with all your voice. You are here. You are here. For a change. Oh. 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 It's increasing. It's increasing. God is anointing you now. God is anointing you. He's anointing you. He's anointing you. Watch, 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 watch there. Watch there. God is anointing that man. He's anointing that man. Is anointing that one? Another one is falling. Another yeah 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 Receive anointing. Receive anointing. Pastor, receive anointing. Prophet, receive anointing. Receive anointing. Receive anointing. Receive anointing. Receive anointing. Receive that anointing. Receive that anointing. In Jesus' name. Listen very carefully. Listen very carefully. Because God doesn't want you to come here and go home being the same. He is feeling you. He is feeling you. Before I even pray for you. Before I even pray for you. I don't know if you are hearing me. I have not prayed for you, but he's feeling you. It is your time. Say it is my time to receive anointing. I'm just hearing that God is studying with prophets. Prophets. He's touching prophets here. Yeah. He's touching prophets here. Yeah. There are prophets here. He's touching prophets here. Yeah. He's touching prophets. There are prophets here. Yeah. They are prophets. Yebo sakata. Lebo sekete. Le prakata. Le krekesi. La pata. La bayakati. They are prophets here. God is anointing prophets here. Rabababababati. In Jesus' name. Listen. Sometimes God we start to move first before we move. That's what he's doing now. That's what he's doing. He is touching people here for spiritual gifts. Apostles here. Apostles. Prophets here. In this end time. In this end time. In this end time. Prophets, apostles. I see expansion of the church. Expansion of the church. Expansion of the church. Dominating of the church. I said dominating of the church. I see God dominating. Oh. Keep quiet, keep quiet. Keep quiet. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. Oh. Look here. Look here, on the side of the left, that side where there are those people who are sleeping there. The anointing will increase there. Prophetic anointing. I saw some brothers receiving prophetic anointing there. That one who's lifting his legs there. That one there. Come, this side. Come, you. Come here. Where is your church there? Where is your church? In Tanin. 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 
God is also anointing you. Yes, Lord. He's anointing you. Even now, take it, take it, take it. Take it. Take it, please. Lift this man up. Lift him up. Say, God is anointing you. Okay. Because where you are, there's full of witchcraft. And now people are trying to attack you. But it's anointing you, sir. It's anointing you. Even you. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Even you. Even, okay, you. You also. Eh? You. You. Can you stand up? Where is your church, sir? Uh, I'm under the prophetess in Venduk. Take it, take it, take it. Receive it, sir. Ryu. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Come on, what? Hey! 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 Let me touch you here. Leave him. Bring him here. Don't worry, don't worry. Fall down, fall down. Fall down like this. You say you are under what? I'm from Namibia. I'm having my own ministry. Don't worry. God brought you here with a purpose. Amen. Don't worry. Amen. Don't worry. There's a great purpose in your life. Amen. You must never get tired Amen. to pray for your seniors. Amen. You hear what I'm trying to say? Yes, yes. Eh? Of God. Yes, man of God. Yes. Because don't come here to say you want to get out and start your own ministry. It will be very good for you. Eh? Yes, man. Yeah, because that idea is not good for you. Amen. You hear me? Yes, man of God. Allow God to extend this ministry through you. Amen. Eh? Amen. Because the anointing you are receiving now is for that. Amen. It's not to destroy this church. It's to go and expand. Amen. You hear me? Yes, man of God. You hear me? Yes, man of God. Don't go out. Don't leave the ministry. Yes, man. Start your own. You hear me? Yes, man of God. Look here. You are anointed now. Glory be to God. Let me come to this one. From Nigeria. You are from Nigeria? Eh? Yes, sir. You are from Nigeria. God yes, wants to use you. Eh? Amen. But also in business. I'm more in business you than more... ministry, but I have a ministry. So, take it. Leave it, leave it. Can you come here? Touch your stomach. This problem is over, eh? Yes. Eh? Yes. Because always you are feeling pain here. Yes. Is it true? Yes. Dengo. God is a, eh? Dengo. Oh, you, you speak Venda. Receive, receive, receive. Yeah. Put a mic in the mouth. You are leaving. Leave it. Leave that thing. Now you can receive now. <laughs> can you come here, sir? I know this man. If I'm praying for this man, I'm praying for Swaziland. As I'm praying for this man, I'm praying for... How many people from Swaziland are here? Pastors from Swaziland. You came alone here. Eh? If I'm praying for you, say, I'm praying for the whole Swaziland. Yes, sir. Swaziland must be saved. Yes. Sir. Even if people are hating you, yes. Swaziland will be saved. Yes. Eh? yes so let's raise this ministry and see people supporting. We don't want your wife to work. So. Yeah. Huh? Yes. You understand what I'm trying to say? Mm -hmm. Close your eyes. Father, remember this man, what he has done. Remember this man. Remember many souls were saved. Anoint him now. Leave him down. Leave him down there. Father, thank you for anointing this man. 
Thank you. God bless you. Come, my brother from US. Let me touch your chest. I want to pray for you the way God show. Can you come, my brother? I know this man, especially people must know this man. As I'm doing like this, many of your enemies will reconcile with you. In Jesus, you are anointed, sir. <coughs> Say you are anointed. Hey, stand up. Hey, hey, sir. You are anointed. Come on. You are anointed. Come on. Come on. Come on. Lift, lift him up. Come on. Come on. Come on. You're free. You're free, sir. Hey, come on. You're free, Mama. Take it. Take it. Take it, Mama. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Come on. Come on, brother. In fact, I was coming to pray for you. I was coming to pray for you. A ministry that you are, that is just a name now. Because people are not supporting that ministry. Huh? Yes. Yeah? So that's the reason why I want to pray for you so that when you go back, things will change. Also, I want to pray for people here that God showed me when we're busy praying that this person is anointed to be a prophet. That was supposed to be a prophet, but there's a delay. I saw one fat man here at the back. Where is he? That man there. Let me God wants to use this man. He, he's seeing visions. You are seeing visions. Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, sir. But your visions are not complete. Yes, sir. Always you ask yourself, what is happening with me? So God wants to use you also. He wants to use you. Let me just touch you now. I'm just touching you now. And then, video you. And congratulations. I saw, can you just run here, you, brother? I was calling you, my brother. Pass me. Stop there. Be anointed. Look at me. Be anointed. Amen. I Be anointed. I receive it. Or I remember you now. Okay? You are one Amen. of the people that God wants to use you in a very serious way. So, even if they kill people in your family, you will resurrect many. Come, my brother. Okay. God is going to direct you because you are very much confused Amen. in your calling. Eh? Amen. Amen. It's not true. It's true. So he's going to direct you uh, because you want to know where you are, Amen. where you are falling. Amen. Is it true? Amen. You explain that to your wife. Amen. Is it true? Where is your wife? Come. Did he tell you? No. He never told you? No. Can you tell what you say? He explained, you explained to your wife. What is that? Yes, it's true. He told you? Yes. So that's what I'm saying. Okay. Yes. So he doesn't know where he belongs. He doesn't know what to do. Let me put a cross here and touch you here. I know why he's confused, this man. It's because of the family where he was born. Family of idols. You know why you're confused? 
Amen. There's a spirit of Sangoma. Amen. Uh, that was there in your family. Okay. So you now you are coming to say you fought to follow Jesus. So that spirit is fighting you. Amen. So, but when you live here, you'll be knowing what to do. Okay. You're, you're afraid. You're afraid. Can you just touch your stomach there? You are free, sir. You are free. You are free. But brother, touch your chest. You are anointed. You? Yes. Can you touch your stomach here? Yeah? Touch your stomach, sir. Receive. Receive also. You are anointed. Let me touch your chest. You are free. Let me touch you here. You are free. Can you touch your, chest? Can you touch your chest, brother? So all of you, you need prayers. The way I look at you, say, let me touch your heart. Let me touch you here, all right? Let me touch. Receive, 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 receive. All right? So all of you, according to me, you need prayer, brother. You of something here, come, run to me. You are anointed, my brother. Okay, can we let me call you? You, yes, you want you are here for anointing. Serious, you are you, you want to change your country? Yes, yes, yes. yes. This man, uh, after I touch him, he will tell you he has never fallen. Stand up, you have never fallen in your life. So now you are falling again. Okay, fall, okay, right. Okay. Let's, let me shake it with this one. You know why I'm praying for you? You must be careful of diabetes. Eh? Okay, yes. Eh? yes. Are you not diabetic? Yes, it killed my, my, my mother last year. Eh? It killed my mother. He took your mother. Yes. Yes. It's a disease of the family. Okay. So you must be careful. You must pray. Okay. Please. Touch here. Because it has started on you. Yes. Yes. What's that? You can't do it. My wife, my wife divorced me because then I'm, I'm not. Uh, huh? My wife divorced me because then I, I have a erection dysfunction. My wife divorced me because I have erection okay, dysfunction. Here, it's because of diabetes. It has started on him. Okay. It's a disease of the family. Um, before we pray for anointing to come, okay. uh, receive yeah. anointing for healing. I receive in God. In Jesus' name. Amen. Close your eyes. Father, heal him now. In Jesus' name. You can go back. Let's go. You are free.